Hey guys, i 7 Tim here and welcome to City Skylines The Republic of Starburg Part 14, the only City Skylines Nation series on the platform. Finally, we're back you guys. I'm so excited for this part because uh, this part specifically took me a lot of time, it took me literally a week to record. And um, I apologize for being this late for uploading this part. I've been really busy with a lot of things I have in mind and in the same time um, this part took me quite a while because I had a lot of ideas that I have to do now I apologize for another thing which is uh, the speed of the video it might be a little bit too fast it's because I try to fit literally everything in one video because there's a lot of things that I have to build and that have to be built in uh, this part. I can't just split them, especially after my absence for this uh, couple months. You guys may have noticed some changes happened to the map theme and the LUT. Thanks to Ronix69, we finally have a special map theme and an LUT for Starburg. I'm gonna link these in the description down below. Uh, you guys may already know that this is already available because it was already um, posted onto the workshop quite a while now uh, before I uploaded this obviously so um, yeah um, I'm, I'm late for announcing this but that's fine I, I don't really mind um, it's just like the surprise and the map theme both have been uh, already in the workshop before I announced them in this part so because, just because I was really busy just before I could upload any part or anything. Uh, the surprise is already in the workshop, also link in the description down below. Um, it's the Star Monument. It's supposed to be a special monument for the, star, for the nation of Starburg uh, specifically. And uh, I'm gonna explain that in the, in the future when I show you guys uh, the thing in the in the city. I'm not sure where it's gonna be, but um, you're gonna know soon. Now for the next couple of episodes, I have some ideas. Uh, part 15, 16, and 17, what I'm gonna do. Uh, for part 15, uh, most probably um, there's gonna be the power plant. And 16 and 17, it's, it's gonna be something related to mass transit. Um, mind you that this part was recorded before mass transit, so just putting this out there. So you guys may have noticed a change in my voice, audio, and my building skills. So a huge shout out to Hezai for providing me a mic to actually make better content for my from my videos better audio if you will for my videos now um his channel link is in the description down below please you guys go check him out he makes amazing content so you, you may know him for making the dubai series it's quite amazing actually and uh, i get inspired a lot by his buildings too so um another thing for my building skills um i learned a lot of things these couple of months and um, you guys may have noticed that I'm implementing all of these stuff in my builds uh, like the decorations, the decals, the, the types of buildings that I'm using, uh, the way I built roads and stuff, everything, everything is changed. And I'm very very happy and very satisfied with all the changes that I've went through because just because um, I'm just satisfied with what I'm building right now and, I, and I'm not gonna change anything from now on so this is literally the last changes that you guys may see this and the downtown area and, and then from now on we're just gonna go through the series uh, really fast because it's been a year and um, we haven't progressed anything especially now with mass transit I'm really inspired to build a lot of things uh, in the coming weeks Moving on, so you guys may have noticed these two interchanges, the highway one and the avenue one. The highway one is there because to split up the traffic for obviously the industrial and the harbor area uh, and 
to, you know, to be good looking in general, but uh, mainly just for traffic. And um, I'm gonna show you guys later and I'm gonna explain uh, maybe in the future how it works and stuff. But for now, since this is a old time-lapse video, I'm just gonna briefly explain everything. And the other one, which was the Avenue Interchange, um, did not make it into the video. I built it and I detailed everything just to give you an example of how the series will be uh, and how the details will be in the coming future. But unfortunately, did not make it into the video for timing purposes. It was really long but i will um maybe upload that one um alone so um if you want you guys just tell me in the comments another thing is i'd like to welcome our new subscribers uh, i've seen a lot of subscribers uh, new subscribers to this channel and um hi <laughs> Even though it's not a good first impression since I haven't uploaded for quite some time now. But um, yeah, so hello new subscribers <laughs> and also maybe even future subscribers. Yeah, I, I really thank you so much for the support and stuff. Um, another thing is I want to explain what's going on over here. Now there is the train track and the train yard, if you will. Um, I did not decorate that yet. I will decorate this in maybe in the future. I'm not sure if uh, I will put that in the next episode or maybe um, later on, but it will happen eventually. I did not have time to decorate the train yard since I have a lot of th other things, more important things to do. But um, don't worry, the train track is on my mind. And still, even at the end of this episode, um, there's still a lot of things to do, a lot of things to decorate and to um to fill in with buildings because this place is huge this um the harbor is like literally takes like i could say 10 percent of the entire island or something it's really really big and um if you guys want me to make it up for you uh with a live stream or something please tell me i want to make it up for you guys and um yeah, because I, I owe you for these two months of um, content and stuff. So I'm gonna briefly explain what's going on over here. Now, other than the fact that this is a harbor and an industrial area for the Republic of Starburg, um, a lot of industry and things are around here. There's a lot of, um, as you can see, I put the coal and the iron, um, Disposals, I think they're called. I'm not sure over there um, Because a lot of trades happens and there's a lot of a lot of materials and things that goes through Starburg So uh, this is really important to be in the harbor area and that obviously includes crude oil and fuel so there's a lot of tanks a lot of dedicated areas for natural materials and fuel and stuff so I put a, a lot of British and uh, Brooklyn themed type of industrial buildings just because they fit the theme perfectly over here and um, because Starburg is not a very new country there's gonna be a lot of mess and um, a lot of uh, you know industry in this area so that that's where the decals come into play. I just love the layout of this entire area. I just feel that, that traffic won't be very concentrated in these areas just because of the layout, because of the service roads that are splitting from the main uh, road of the uh, industrial area. You guys will see later on when I put the cranes in the uh, on the dock. Uh, you guys may see it right now uh, is I'm putting the uh, the crane rail decal from Ronix but in the same time I wanted something to be at the end of these rail these crane rails and uh, I couldn't find anything to put over there so I put the train buffer uh, thing over there you guys may see it later 
and um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just thought that it fits perfectly over there. I don't know what goes over there because I'm pretty sure there, there has to be something that stops the cranes from, you know, going out of place. So that's what um, I, I guess, had in mind just to put a train buffer over there. So um, I, I did not put a lot of um, service type of, um, you know, cargo area docks like you know the vanilla uh, cargo docks i did not put them so um i mean i didn't put a lot of them just like just as i was putting before i don't know i didn't feel it was necessary see this is the type of thing that i'm talking about my entire building style has changed and i'm just putting cargo and stuff uh you're gonna see a lot of decals later on in the video and uh, yeah, that's all I have to say for now, and I'll talk to you later.
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this part. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna see more of Starberg. It honestly means the world to me. And also, if you want, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm active and I post a lot of teasers and stuff over there. And I also have a goal of hitting 100 followers over there. So please help me reach that goal. You guys are amazing. The links are all in the description down below. And I really hope that you have an amazing day. And I'll see you later. Bye.